take Bronco Shorty out for a second. Yeah, we up, we up in the Bronco. So we're about to do a quick test. It's the morning. <laughs> Bronco Shorty, we about to whip. I did the uh, four scan last night. I probably it's, it probably sounds like four scan. I promise you, I'm saying four scan. <laughs> And uh, I'm about to get the little GPS app on so we can see see if it's accurate. Hopefully it is. If it is, it's good. Got my Yeti out bag. That's how I carry all my shit when I'm wearing shorts. I got the old drunk ass motherfucking Star Wars t-shirt on. Because I literally just got out the bed. Like, probably got sleep and shit in my eye. If I do, I'm sorry. I actually fucked that. We got some glasses in there, y'all. Stay with some shades, though. We stay with them shades. All right, where my GPS at, man? GPS? What the fuck? I thought I had a GPS app on. <sighs> Maybe it's called speed. <laughs> speedometer. Yeah. It's called speedometer. <laughs> That's the actual name, and it looks like this. So, we're gonna see. We're about to whip. All right. <laughs> it's so funny hearing the 35 squeak when they first move. Them bitches squeaky. I'm trying to not hit my fucking GX. When my wife parks, she parks. Like, not far enough to give me good clearance to get the, the Bronco out. So we about to go see about this mileage real quick. All right. So it says right now that we're going seven miles an hour. And it says six here, or seven here. Now it says we're going 12, and it says 11. So we might be off still a little bit. But it looks like we're only off by one or two. Huh. I'm not sure. Comment down below if you guys know an accurate speedometer. Um, this is my first time ever ha um, like putting 35s on something and throwing off the speedometer and everything. So it's just, this is a no experience for me. So I'm right, about to go up this hill. It says 23. So, still seems like it's off, but it might be this thing is slow. Who knows if it's as accurate? I mean, it is just a free version, so I don't know. This might not be a good test. <laughs> I don't know, guys. We're gonna see. All right, so now it's saying that I'm going Need to get to a speed that I can stay at. It's saying I'm going 39, but it's saying 30. That shit is still off, boy. I need, I need, I need a, a different app. So um, I'm about to go find a parking lot or something and pull in. But we gotta find a different app. We gotta find a, a very accurate app. Also. So I installed the little hood protector thing. That shit whistles. So I'm gonna contact Ford because it is an OEM part and it does have a lifetime warranty. I'm gonna see what they say. But it has a terrible whistle. It's kind of annoying. You kind of get not used to it. It's like that white noise, but it is, it's, it's pretty terrible. As soon as you get to any you know, speed, it's, it's, it's pretty bad. So I think going 2791 might have put me over. So I'm, and now it's saying that I'm going like I think I'm it, instead of going saying uh, the mileage is um, like I was going 33 when I was really going 36. Now I think it's the opposite. I'm going 36, but it's saying 33. 
But I don't I don't think this thing is this is an accurate test guys. Oh man, so I might have to still adjust it again. Auto start is a trip because it makes you feel like you're driving an electric car. And we're definitely not. So it's a little trippy having an auto start. Or stop and start or whatever they call that shit. I need to learn all the um, car terms. I'm a reform car guy. I remember I was in like this red Jeep when I was shooting a show called Surviving Man. And I had it for like a little over a week, almost two weeks. I was just whipping a red Jeep. And I pulled up to the um, range that they were filming the TV show at. And a guy was all like, oh, this your midlife crisis car. <laughs> I don't think I'm there yet, bro, but 15 years, I will have my midlife crisis car. You know, because I plan to be at least 100, so it's, you gotta have your midlife crisis car at 50. Come on, guys. But yeah. so, yeah, that hood definitely whistles or that hood protector thing. It kind of sucks because I just wanted to just be chill. Like, I don't want to add accessories that's supposed to be for accessories and they whistle. Like, Sad. But it is what it is, I guess. Shout out to um, all the sponsors and people that's been hitting me up, trying to um, get me to wear their shit in the um, videos and stuff. Hey, shoot me t shirts, shoot me parts. I'm trying to get um, Redline to send me um, some of them hood struts. Yeah, any type of Bronco customization, any type of like modifications, I don't need the, the free free, but if you can give me like at least a 50% discount or something, you know, I'll, I'll post your shit just to um, help get your shit out there and help modify Bronco shouting. So right now we're going um, not that fast. And the whistle, oh no, it's still happening. It's just a lower pitch. Yeah, it sucks, man. I don't, that's one thing I hate about about that hood protector thing. It definitely whistles, so it's up. If you guys got any, um, you know, any solutions for that whistling, let me know. Without like doing weird stuff like, you know, putting, you know, sell it or, you know, you shouldn't have to do all that. It should just be able to connect it. Bam, we're good. But, you know, sometimes shit happens. I think I just saw a blimp. So, if I did, I'm going to find where that blimp at. It's just a blimp just chilling and shit. I want to see a blimp. Where that blimp at? There's blimps out here, bro. There's hella blimps. There's blimpity blimp. Oh my god, they're stupid. Oh my god, I gotta let you guys see. There's a there's like blimps to the left of me, and they're like literally about to um, run into trees. Like I don't know what's going on. It's like a blimp celebration in Colorado Springs right now, and they're running into the trees. I've seen a blimp literally right over my house, like literally like 20 feet. Nah, maybe like yeah, like 20 feet. It was like literally right over my house, bro. Like it was so weird. Yeah, I turned that auto start stop shit off. Turned that bitch off. So yeah, still don't know if this speedometer is um, accurate. Um, so I, I just background my tires, the size are 35 by 12.50 um, or 12.5 R17. So hopefully those will work, you know. Um, so I put in what? I don't remember the exact millimeters that I put in, but I'm just hoping that shit just works. I just want it to work. All right, so I'm gonna just park right here and um, hopefully we see some some balloons hit the, what's the call? Oh, there it go, there's a balloon. 
There we go. Can you guys see that? I don't think they can see that. Uh, I'm gonna go outside so y'all y'all can see this shit. This shit crazy. So look, y'all. It looks like the the balloon literally just stopped right here in this field. So we're about to see what's going on. Let's go. Let's go stop Bronco Shorty. Bronco Shorty, you get you you just stay there and chill, okay? All right, Bronco Shorty is over there chilling. So we're about to go see what's going on with this balloon. We're over by Lowe's, you know, beautiful city uh, or state of Colorado. Looks like there's hella balloons in the sky. I don't know what's going on. All right, I'm gonna walk over there, then I'm gonna tune back. So I'm walking behind Lowe's, guys, and uh, it's not as beautiful as I thought, but it's still pretty beautiful. And we're gonna go see what's up with this balloon. It's just balloons everywhere, guys. So if you want a balloon, just come out to Colorado Springs, get you a balloon real quick. <laughs> right? We're, hey, we're hoping bro is okay, but it looks like people are landing on top of people's houses. So, <laughs> so this video is gonna be super interesting, guys. Is a whole bunch of people in there? Let's go see. Oh, snap. Yeah, I would never ride in them, but it's cool to look at. <laughs> I'm good. Yeah, me too. Okay, so it looked like they might have performed an emergency landing. They yeah. look good though, guys. Look at the other one over there. Right? I know, that looked like in somebody's backyard. <laughs> yeah, in the backyard. So I don't know if you guys could see this, but there's yeah. another one over that here. One is, uh, yeah, in the backyard. Look at that one yeah. over there. <laughs> that one looks like it's in someone's backyard, guys. Yeah. So yeah, another day in Colorado, guys. You know, where they just land balloons in fields. It happens. Never been back here. It's kind of cool. And if you guys can see, there's hella balloons out there. Labor like they're Y'all picking up the balloon? Yeah. Okay. Look, so these guys, they work with the balloon. They're going off road, man. You got to get that four wheel drive in Colorado, guys. It's real out here. Oh, it's beautiful though. Another beautiful day. Glad I came out today. Yeah. Hey, you guys have a blessed one though. Yes, of course. Yeah, another blessed one, guys. The sun is so radiant and beautiful today. Look at that. Look at that balloon behind me. So yeah, we're out here. Everyone's starting to come out and look at the balloon. I'm about to go back to the parking lot, finish this video for you guys. But yeah, it's, it's pretty cool, man. Uh, we're at Lowe's. You already know beautiful Colorado. It's su such a beautiful place. So yeah, just saw the balloon. Looks like they had to do like some emergency landing in the field. But there's one that looks like it could be in somebody's backyard. I would go investigate. I don't care that much. <laughs> I care a little bit. I hope, it, hope it's not in somebody's backyard. And if it did, I hope it just landed all chill. But who knows? That's the type of stuff we see in Colorado.